Hey everyone. So while we're on the topic of free agency, um, there's there's another big name free agent out there that I haven't talked about at all yet on this channel. Um, Ilya Kovalchuk is returning to the NHL for next season, or at least that's the plan. Um, Kovalchuk's been playing in Russia for the last few years now, I think since like 2013. So he's been there for a while now, and um, he is a he is you know still a very very good offensive player and he's been lighting it up in Russia um, he wants to come back to the NHL I'm, he, I'm, he wants to win a Stanley Cup I'm sure um, that would that would really be the only reason for him to come back I would think um, but he's 35 years old so this is not you know 27 28 year old Ilya Kovalchuk who was an absolute beast in the in the NHL when he played in Atlanta and then in New Jersey um, he he was an elite player at one point he's probably not going to be at that level when he comes back he's probably going to be a solid second line winger who can probably score 20 to 25 goals when he comes back um, 35 is 35 no matter who you are um, so the, the the rumor or I guess the word is is that he wants a three year deal. So 35, 36, or 36, 37, 38. He'll be 38 when it's um when when it ends. Um, and around six million dollars per year. We'll see if he gets the gets six million dollars per year with with guys in the league like David Backus and Milan Lucic getting six per year. It's probably pretty. I'm pretty confident that Kovalchuk we will be able to get it. But um, you know that that is a pretty high cap hit. But he's probably going to be a second line player, and if he can score 25 goals and you know 50 something points or even 60 something points, then that's that's worth it. And he certainly will add a lot to whatever team that he signs with. Um, so, where is Ilya Kovalchuk going to go? Well, the race seems to be very wide open right now. The, um, I guess the favorites to get him, according um, to, the, to the media at this point, are um, the Boston Bruins, the New York Rangers, the San Jose Sharks, or the LA Kings. And I think Kovalchuk would bring a lot to, to any of those teams. The Rangers, um, obviously Henrik Lundqvist is getting older. They've got major, major issues, though. More issues than I think just signing Kovalchuk can fix. I think they've got issues on the back end. Um, Lundqvist's play is absolutely on the decline. They're not very deep up front, I don't think. Um, they were basically by the end of last season. They basically had their AHL team up in up in New York. Um, I I don't think it makes a lot of sense for Kovalchuk to go to the Rangers because I don't see the Rangers being a contend, contending team anytime soon. I don't even see them being a playoff team again, probably for at least another couple of years, and that's if they rebuild correctly. So I wouldn't bet on the Rangers but they are apparently one of the top teams mostly because I think Kovalchuk wanted to play in New York he probably just didn't bet on the Rangers not being good um, the Boston Bruins that's an interesting uh, possible destination for Kovalchuk um, it, as a Bruins fan I would rather have them sign Kovalchuk than have them re-sign Rick Nash Rick Nash was a massive disappointment for the Bruins and I want him gone um, so that would leave open a second line wing spot. Um, throw Kovalchuk in there, and if he can score 25 goals and you know 50 plus points, that's perfectly fine with me. Already adding him to a very young, half young, half experienced Bruins team who um, really is putting a very very good team together. They did last season, and now really one of the favorites for, for winning the Stanley Cup next year and for the next, you know, probably going to be really good for the next few, few years to come. They've got some incredible young talent. They've also got some uh, very, very experienced veterans. 
who met, uh, some of whom have won a cup before, guys like Marshan, Bergeron, Krejci, Chara, um, McQuaid, they were all there for the 2011 Cup. So that's a there's a very good mix of youth and uh, experience in Boston, and I think adding Kovalchuk to that would really give them and him a good chance of winning a Stanley Cup, which uh, would be really, really um, good to see. And um, I think that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, the LA Kings, that's another team that um, really makes sense for Kovalchuk. The Kings, their b biggest problem was they could not score goals. And we saw that in the playoffs when they got swept in the first round by Vegas this past postseason. They could not score goals. They have a great, great goaltender in Jonathan Quick. They're a very solid team defensively. Um... They they had they had like the best team defense in the league last year. Gave up the fewest goals over the course of the season. The only thing they need is more offense. And if you th add Ilya Kovalchuk and throw him on, he'd probably play on the first line in in L.A. You put him in there, and if he can score 25 goals and 50 plus points, he makes that team so much better. And they go from being a first round exit to probably a cup contender or at least someone a team who can get to the conference final san jose sharks also make a lot of sense um they're a team that has some very very good players they have a extremely solid goaltender in martin jones they're a playoff team every year they're just missing a little bit offensively depth wise um they do, they're not a team that gets a lot of offense from their bottom six but they've they've signed a Vander Kane long term for seven years. He helps them offensively. If you also add Ilya Kovalchuk there, then that gives them a really really strong top six, um, goal scoring wise. That also bumps somebody who's in the top six down into the bottom six, which should help the bottom six offensively. And then you have a much deeper team uh, as far as goal scoring is concerned, and that could be enough to push them from being you know a playoff team which they were which they are pretty much every year to being a cup contending team um and that that could be a big big difference for for san jose so all of those teams make sense for for kovalchuk except for the rangers i don't i guess that's just a new york thing him wanting to play in new york but I think Boston, LA, and San Jose would all be great fits for Ilya Kovalchuk if he if his goal in coming back is to win a Stanley Cup. Um, other teams that are that are uh, rumored to be in in the mix are teams like St. Louis, Detroit, Dallas, Anaheim, um, and then there are numerous other teams that could possibly get in on the action. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where he ends up. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what kind of contract he gets. We know what he wants, um, that, that three-year, six million per year. Um, a team will probably give that to him, and uh, it's just going to be fun to see where he ends up and uh, to see if he picks the right destination to win a Stanley Cup. Um, but it, it's, not every, it's not every year that you get a major, major free agent coming back from another you know, league, a European league, um, the way that we have Kovalchuk coming back this year. And it's not that often that you get this kind of demand and um, you know, talk, hype over a 35-year-old. So it's going to be interesting to see what kind of player he is when he comes back. Um, it's going to be interesting to see where he goes. So uh, we'll just have to wait and see how it all plays out. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media, check out offthewallhockey.com. Keep spreading the word about this channel, keep this thing growing. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you all soon.